outside the landing in back water. I'll go ashore and check the dispatch box. Pretty quick now. Just as soon as Shoot O'Brien files his dispatch, we'll go back aboard the Southern Bell with him. Overnight, the Mississippi had become a graveyard of sunken boats. Accident piled upon accident until it became obvious that someone was feeding false information to the pilot dispatch boxes along the river. So when the administrator of New Orleans asked me to investigate, I took a little trip aboard the Southern Bell. Mr. O'Brien, there's something clear about these reports. Such as? Such as Island 19. It says here, head dead on Phantom Bluff and take her full inside the snag. Now, we always went on the outside. Who filed the report? There's no signature. The boat ahead of us is the Cairo girl. So it'll be Charlie Webster. If indeed he wrote it at all. Follow his instructions. We're out to break the record. Yes, ma'am. Just ordered 20 pounds more pressure put on the boilers. Miss Tapworth, aboard this boat, I give the orders. I'm the chief pilot. And I'm the owner. That's dangerous. Not at all. I just had those boilers rebuilt. They can stand even more. Well, who's this? Oh, Yancey Derringer, Miss Patricia Tapworth. It's a pleasure, ma'am. I've heard of you. And you're Indian. You own the Sultana. That's right. It's a very fast boat. She might even break the record if she tried. She doesn't try. The Sultana is more concerned with the safety of her passengers than a record run. Mr. Derringer, I'm going to set a new record. Three days and 20 hours from New Orleans to St. Louis. Island 19 dead ahead, Mr. O'Brien. In the name of sense, let's slow ourselves down. You keep this boat full ahead, Mr. O'Brien. And you know that's an order. Keep your eye on the river. Stop gawking. Miss Tapworth. Yes, Mr. Derringer? You are pushing the southern bell pretty hard. Scared? No, ma'am. Worried. She'll take it. You realize there have been a series of unexplained accidents on the Mississippi lately? The Natchez rammed into a sandbag. The Crescent City blew her boilers. The Paducah burned and the Chauncey L hit a snag and sank. I'm not a fool. No, ma'am. Foolhardy. Mr. Derringer, have you noticed that not one of Mr. Dan Emerson's boats have been involved in these uh, accidents? Certainly you can't blame him for the things that... He wants to own this river, Mr. Derringer, and he doesn't care how he does it. Right now, one of his boats, the Cairo girl's right out there ahead of us, trying for a record. But you're going to beat her. And when I do, I'll take every major cotton contract away from you. Saints preserve us! We're hitting the bank! <laughs> Backwater, full steam, backwater. Well, there goes your record. It's going fast. I know, I know. Abandon the boat. We better get overboard. No, but I'll drown with all these clothes on. Here, help me out of this. Come on, over the side. Can you swim?
wonder how many were saved. It's kind of hard to tell in the dark. I'm holding you responsible for this disaster, Mrs. Hapworth. You pushed those boilers too hard. There wasn't anything wrong with those boilers. She's right. It was that pilot's note that sent us down to the catfish. Charlie Webster's going to have some tall explaining to do when we get back to New Orleans. Captain, what caused the sinking of the Southern Bell? Excess pressures in the boiler. That is not true. I just had the boilers rebuilt. Here. The specifications. You can see for yourself they could have stood much more. The fact is, they didn't blow until after we hit the bank. And we wouldn't have hit the bank, only Charlie Webster left false information in the dispatch box. Where's Charlie Webster now? On his way to St. Louis, trying to break a record, the same as Miss Tapworth was. Mr. Colton, this is Dan Emerson, owner of the Southern Lions. How do you do? Mr. Colton. Well, Captain Fry? I just came from the wreck of the Southern Bell. Sulfuric acid had been fed into the boilers. Even if the boat had not gone aground, they would have blown. Then it's very obvious Dan Emerson hired someone to destroy my boat. Patricia, you may be interested in knowing that my boat, the Cairo girl, with 5,000 bales of cotton and over 400 passengers blew up and sank this morning below Vicksburg with almost a complete loss of life. Only the pilot... Charlie Webster? Correct. Only Mr. Webster and a handful of others made it alive. I just received word. Where's Mr. Webster now? He was picked up by the Davenport Swan. He's arriving in New Orleans tonight. This meeting will adjourn until I've met with Charles Webster and Miss Tapworth. I'll hang on to these specifications if you don't mind. Of course. Goodbye, Mr. Colton. Mr. Danger. Captain Fry, I want you to meet Charles Webster at the levee tonight. Bring him to this office. Yes, sir. Captain Fry, Captain Tom. Sergeant. What's Sergeant. he doing here? I asked him to identify Charles Webster. No sign of him yet? Not yet. Well, don't tip him off. Don't tip him off about what? Wanted by the administrator. He's either guilty of 700 murders, the passengers of the Southern Bell and the Cairo girl, or else he's an accomplice. Here he comes now. Hello, Captain Tom. You hear the bad news? Here's some more, Mr. Webster. You're under arrest. What are you talking about? Who are you? This is Captain Amos Fry, Chief of the Secret Service in the audience. The administrator wishes to see you at once. What for? Leaving false information in the pilot's dispatch box at Castle's Crossing. Blowing up the Cairo girl. Let's go. Stand still, Derringer. You too, Indian. You too, Tom. Will be any good, Charlie? You've got no place to go. Maybe so. I'm not going to take the rope for this. It wasn't my idea. Box. Well, good morning, Mr. Emerson. Will you join me? I've got something on my conscience. I've got to tell you. Go ahead. You know that Patricia Tapworth and I are both after that Labisse cotton contract. That's right. I had secret word that she was trying to arrange minor accidents to my boats enough to slow me down. So I made an offer to one of her pilots to do the same to her. Which pilot? The O'Hara. Did he accept your offer? No, but maybe it was pure Irish blarney. Maybe he filled those boilers with sulfuric acid. I never meant for him to do anything like that. You understand? I never did understand a stack deck, Mr. Anderson. 
I'm telling you this to show you my good faith. You're telling me this because you're scared stiff. Good day to you. Mr. Emerson? Captain Fry? Am I wrong, or did Pablo indicate you wanted to see me? You're right, Captain. Beginning to understand a little sign. How's your head? It's been better. Captain, I think it might be wise if you check the cotton market. Find out who's been doing the heaviest trading in cotton in the last two weeks. If someone bought when cotton was low and held while these accidents ran the price up, we might have an excellent motive for shipwreck, hmm? That's right. I'm just curious as a bystander. Oh, and I'd like to know the results of your investigation. I'll let the curious bystander know just as soon as I do. Thank you. Sort of official meeting place for the river pilots. Ones in town, you'll usually find him in here. Pilot of Bow Well, Mr. Shute. Oh, hello, Yancey. Thank you. It's good to see you. Now, maybe you won't think so. Recognize this? Looks like a pilot's key to the dispatch box. Where'd you get this, mister? From a dead man's hand. Meaning? Shut up, O'Hara. Let's see if it really is a pilot's key. That's a pilot's key, all right. I'll take it. Oh, no, you won't. Only river pilots can have that key. It's not to be let into the hands of ordinary civilians. Oh, Hera, that key belongs to the man that killed Charlie Webster. Charlie Webster? That's right. He pulled it from the man that killed him. A river pilot. You blithering idiot. Are you accusing a pilot of killing right, a pilot? Take it easy, O'Hara. Yes, take it easy, O'Hara. I just talked to Dan Emerson. He said that he offered to pay you to cause little accidents to happen to Miss Tapworth's boat. An offer he made me, yes. But it's a black lie of the man that says I did anything about it, but spit in his eye. Where's your key, O'Hara? That's none of your business. Don't give him that key shoot. That's evidence, O'Hara. I've got to. Your president of the association, I want you to call a meeting of all the pilots tonight. All of the pilots aren't in town, Yancey. Some are on the river. Well, they couldn't have killed Charlie Webster. And the pilot that hasn't got a key is fitting his neck for a rope. Enough of your fine talk, Gamecock. You might have walked in here, but by heaven, they're going to kill you. All right, take it easy, O'Hara. Right. see Miss Tapworth right away. Why? Well, she's bought up the mortgage on the Sultana, and she's going to foreclose on you. Thank you, Captain Tom. Do you recognize this? The mortgage to the Sultana. I'm going to foreclose. Not for 30 days. Read the contract. It says I have 30 days to pay you $10,000 plus interest. And you can? I have a small silver mine in Virginia City, Nevada. The money will be here in 30 days. But I can't wait that long. I want the Sultana right now. She's one of the few boats that can beat that record. I want to make that run now and get those cotton contracts away from Dan Emerson. Sorry, Pat. Find yourself another boat. I thought you were a gambler. Game of showdown. You win, I give you this mortgage. I win, you give me the Sultana right now, just to break the record. Then I hand it right back to you. If you don't blow her up. That's the gamble. Deal. Oh, uh, you don't mind if we use my cards? That gives you two pair. You a possible flush. Mm -hmm. Just
Jack of spades. Six of spades. A flush beats two pair. Well. Unlucky at cards. Lucky at love. Seems I've lost on both counts. Sultan is yours. Take good care of her. Gentlemen. Mr. Derger. Hello, Yancey. It looks as though your hunch was right. Good. I went to the cotton mart, got the names of all the active traders. Look at this. He started buying cotton futures a month ago, before there was any thunder on the river. Captain Fry, will you deliver a key to shoot O'Brien at Bogart's billiard saloon? Tell him to keep that safely locked up until the meeting tonight. Yancey, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does, Mr. Coke. you sent over for me to lock up, Yancey. It's gone? Yeah, that's right. I was jumped and crowned with a billiard cue by somebody in this room. Then there isn't any blithering point in any of us hanging around now anymore, is Shut there? Shut up, O'Hara. The fact is, there isn't a missing key anymore, Yancey. It's too bad. All the pilots here? Every last one who was in town when it happened. Your proceedings, Mr. Colton. Thank you. Gentlemen, I have asked your president, Mr. O'Brien, to call you here to conduct a small experiment. You will each take your key. Open and lock the dispatch box and move to the opposite side of the room. Mr. O'Hara, why don't you go first? Why always pick on me? Go ahead, O'Hara. <laughs> for this? Oh, I've got my key right here. No, I've got your key right here. That's the key that Captain Fry gave you this afternoon. The one you stole from yourself. Then you had to fake that billiard cue attack on yourself. That just looks like a pilot's key. <laughs> it's a joke. On you. Mr. O'Brien, you're under arrest. For the murder of Charles Webster as a start. Wait a minute. Yancey, why would I pillage the river? I'm just a pilot. A very rich pilot. In the last month, you've invested every cent of your savings on cotton futures. You're the biggest trader on the mark. Your holdings are worth a fortune. Mr. O'Brien. All right, hold it. Why, you low... <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. 
I must save it more often. How's the O'Hara? Serious, but not critical. He'll recover. Good. Here's your mortgage. You owe me 10,000 in 30 days. I can't take it. We played an honest game of poker and I lost. But it wasn't honest. The cards were stacked. Oh. The truth is, Yancey, I... I think being your friend just might be more important than breaking records or being queen of the river. So? So I'd like you to take me to dinner. I'll tell you what. Let's have another game of showdown. Your cards, you deal. I win, you take me to dinner. I lose. Goodbye forever. Fair enough. card down. King of spades. Queen of hearts. Ace of clubs. Ace of spades. King of hearts. Queen of spades. King of diamonds. Ace of hearts. Well, Miss Pat? What have you got? Queen's full. Beats my three kings. You lose. Isn't that the way you wanted it? No. I dealt you kings for. 